Good day to all. Today we're going to discuss some tips in Microsoft PowerPoint that beginners can use in creating their own PowerPoint presentation. This is part one. So our discussion will be focused on the three main features or basic features in your PowerPoint, which are image, shape, and equation. So let's start. So this is your PowerPoint interface. Let's begin. We will insert an image to this slide. So go to insert and then pictures, browse and select your picture. I want an apple. So click on the apple and then insert. Now you have the image of an apple with a background, but you want, you want to remove the background. So how can we do this? So click on the image. So now you are on the format then click on remove background so as you can see the apple here is surrounded by color violet so this will be the part that will be removed on your image so if you're good with this you click on keep changes but if not you are not yet satisfied and you want to retain this portion here at the bottom of the apple click on mark areas to keep and just make a gentle stroke here okay so now you're good you can click on keep changes so now you have an apple without a background now if you want to duplicate this you just press on control and then you drag the image so now you have two apples on the screen okay so again when you want to duplicate the image you just click on the image and then press on control and then drag okay, so that's the that's the way to remove background on your image or you can also go to this website here you go to www.remove.bg slash so this is an online uh, what's this site where you can easily remove image background now we will try to add picture to text so we'll go to insert insert then text box we'll try it first with one letter say for example a we'll make this bigger so you can change the size and the style so let's say this one here And then I will embed now the picture or the image on letter A. So on the format, you go to text field and you choose picture. So I will click on from a file, browse, and you just select an image. Say for example, I want this. So insert. So now you have a letter A with an image on it. So let's try with Word. So let's go to Insert and Text Box. Say for example, Joy. So let's make that bigger. Okay. So let's make that bigger and we'll change the style. Say for example, you want it. This one okay so now you go to format and then just like what we did earlier you go to text field and then picture from a file you select the picture say I want this the flowers insert and there you go have a beautiful artistic word okay so that's how you add picture to text so now we're done with that let's go to shape so how are we going to create a perfect shape so let's insert a shape here go to insert and then shapes say for example I want a heart okay that's not a perfect heart 
So how can I make a perfect heart here? So go again to insert, then shapes, then click on heart. And then before dragging, make sure you press the shift key. So press on shift and then drag. So now you have a perfect heart. Let's have another example. Let's go again to insert then shapes, then say star. So, okay. That's not a perfect star, but I can just adjust the points here to have a perfect star. But for you to have a perfect star without consuming much time, then go to that shape again, then choose on star. Then press on the shift key, then drag. So now I have a perfect star. Okay. Let's have another example. Okay. Let's say a circle. You want a circle, but it appears to be an oblong. So though you can still adjust the points here, but that will consume you of your time. So let's go again to insert and then shapes, click on that circle, press the shift key and then drag. So you have a perfect circle here where you can just easily resize it. So that's how you create a perfect shape on your slides. So let's now proceed to merging. Let's try to do merging of shapes. Say, for example, this one here. How do we do this? So you go to insert, then shapes. I will pick this shape here, the chevron. Press the shift key, and then that one. So I will just make it longer. And then another shape is this one. This is a teardrop shape. Okay, say for example this, and I can just rotate it. Okay. Say for example this one. So it's actually two different shapes combined. So say for example, I want to remove this part here of that teardrop shape. So we will press on control, then click on the two shapes, and then go to format. You can see here the merge shapes. Click on that, and then press on union. So now you have this shape. Okay. So you can just resize. Okay, another would be this shape here. You again insert shapes, click on this, this is the quad arrow, shift key, then drag. Another shape would be the circle, okay, and then you just, by the way, I forgot the pressing of the shift key, I will do that again. Shift key, then this one. So now I have two shapes here. Okay, I will just click on the two shapes or just highlight it and then go again to format, then merge shapes, and then click on combine. So you have this shape here. So that is merging shapes. For the merging shapes, you can either unite, combine, subtract, or make it in fragments. So it's up to you. So this would add uh, beauty or artistry to your presentation. So now let's proceed with the equation. So how are you going to insert ink equation on your slide? So to do that, you go to insert. And then symbols, 
And then for the equation, you look at the bottom. You can see here the ink equation. You click on that. This will appear on your screen. Or you may also go to draw and then you click on ink to mat. And then open ink equation editor. So here it is. You may now start writing your equation. So say I opt to write the equation for, let's erase that first. Equation for speed. Say V is equal to the wavelength times the frequency. Now you click on select and correct. Make a loop around the formula. And then you just select your equation. Say, for example, this one. Go to insert and just adjust the size. So now you have a formula here. One of the difficulties that we encounter in making our PowerPoint presentation is to insert equations on our slides. So let's have another example. You go to insert, symbols, then equation. At the bottom, we can see here the ink equation. Now you can write the equation. So let's say E is equals to mc squared. This is Einstein's equation. Select and correct. Make a loop around the formula. And then you choose the appropriate equation that you want on your slide. Insert. So now you just adjust the size. So you now have e equal to mc squared. So that's how we create an equation by using ink equation on your PowerPoint. So that's it. Try to remove background images on your slide. Add picture to text. We have also have created perfect shapes and merge shapes including inserting ink equations on your slides.